What's up, guys? Uh, Sorry, my, my mind went completely blank. Uh, I'm back playing Agricola again with JPV and Benson. Um, I believe just G4, G5 this time. Uh, and an interesting opening pack, two cards that I like a lot in Benefactor and Cat Lover that do very similar things. Um, I'll definitely be taking one of these cards, although Resource Stealer and Merchant Plowman and even Organized Handyman are all fine. Um, I, Benefactor and Cat Lover, I think, are a tier above the other ones. Um, as far as which to pick, I, I'm not totally sure. Um, ideally, we, we'd get both, and I think in order to get both, the best line would be take Benefactor and wheel Cat Lover. I think Cat Lover is probably more likely to wield than Benefactor, um, but if we only can have one... Cat Lover might be better than Benefactor. Um, it's hard to say. So Benefactor, like if you just compare the rate that you're getting for the two cards, Benefactor gives you seven resources and you lose an animal. In order for Cat Lover to give you more than that, you either have to have four animals and build uh, three rooms, have seven animals or and build two rooms, uh, and th those are the main ways to get a bigger benefit from Cat Lover than Benefactor um, in terms of raw value. But Benefactor also has some tempo uh, in that like you can get a room right after fencing, whereas Cat Lover, you need to build up animals, you need to breed animals, um, and you have to take a build rooms action, where Benefactor, you do not have to take a build room action, uh, which is a significant tempo gain. Um... Yeah, I think Benefactor is probably the pick. I I like Cat Lover more in terms of like what, what my favorite card is, but I think Benefactor, the tempo it gives you is a bit stronger. Um, Cat Lover is obviously better if you're going for a big house strategy, like with something like Chief or Mansion, but we have no idea if we're opening any of those cards. Um and some of the other big house cards, like Rent Keeper or whatever, don't actually work that well with Cat Lover. Um, another big house card, like Brick Layer, doesn't work that well with Cat Lover. Thatcher isn't great with Cat Lover. And some of the only big house cards that work great with Cat Lover are Carpenter and Axe. Um, there's a good number of big house cards that don't really combo with Cat Lover. Other than the, the point payoff, Chief, Chief and Mansion obviously combo, but some of the other ones that like make building a big house easier don't combo. Uh, Clay Supports is another card that doesn't work with Cat Lover. So I think Benefactor is the safer pick, and if we wheel Cat Lover, obviously that's the, the ideal, which is possible. It's a strong pack. Um, wow, 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 wow. So this pack is very strong for us. Um... Obviously, Patron is great. Fence Dealer is also incredible, incredible, incredible with Benefactor. It, it gives you six wood, essentially, early game, which is just amazing for Benefactor. You can get your fences out super early. Um, and Cactus Farmer, I have a hard time passing Cactus Farmer. I just love it as a card. It's very strong. Um, passing Cactus Farmer to the Cat Lover is also sad. The Cat Lover... Um, Cat Lover is very excellent with Cactus Farmer because Cactus Farmer can give you a couple stables to take an animal pair early and get them breeding. Um, and pa yeah, Patron's just great. So um, I think Fence Dealer is technically the best card for us in this pack, but there is a good chance it wheels. Um, the Cat Lover, if we take Cactus Farmer, the Cat Lover player, if there is one, might take Fence Dealer. But Cattle Dealer also is great with Cat Lover. You can fence 13 big, um, and you can pay to read for four cattle, and that will get you very close to Cat Lover all on its own. Um, so, yeah, I, I think we're safe to try to wheel the Fence Dealer. So the question is, do we take Patron or Cactus Farmer? Um, I, I just am a huge fan of Cactus Farmer as a card. I think it's very strong. Um, yeah, just the advantage it gives you. Um, like, it gives you 8 wood in raw value. Like, it makes your play a little bit awkward in that you have to play miners on major minor. But when you if you do that awkward play, it gives you 8 wood and it gives you an improvement action. 
um, which is just a tremendous amount of value for one card. In addition to the tempo it gives you from building stables, it allows you to take an animal pair early, which is nice with Benefactor, because one of the problems with Benefactor is it can be hard to get uh, the animal to give away if somebody else is competing for animals, because um, you, you want to focus on fencing rather than building a fireplace generally. So if somebody else builds the fireplace and like sweeps the first set of sheep, you, you'll have to take an awkward like two sheep action and then you can't, once you return one of the sheep, you can't even breed them. Uh, so building stables to be able to get a better sheep action is pretty valuable, and it's just such a great card. Patron is great, but... Um, and an another advantage for Patron is we're drafting 10, which makes the general value of cards slightly higher. But yeah, I just love Cactus Farmer. Oh, wow. Um... So Head of the Revolution is pretty interesting. I think it's the pick here. Gardener's Wife is interesting. Acrobat is a decent card, although it's not great with what we're doing. Um, I've never played Gym Trainer, it seems fine. Scrounger's also decent. Scrounger's something we have to keep in mind. Um, and even Mason's Apprentice is a strong card, but Head of the Revolution, I think, is the pick here. With Cactus Farmer... Um, it, it can definitely be possible, excuse me, for us to get ahead of the revolution. Uh, with Benefactor, we'll be fencing early, so we just have to line it up to set up to grab these points with, like, a plow before anybody else can, and this can be three points and maybe, like, two or three wood. Oh, wow. Well, Fencing Master is definitely the pick here. The last game I played had Benefactor, Fencing Master, um... We had Animal Husbandry Worker in that game, which is obviously a great combo, but even without that, Fencing Master is just so strong. Fencing Master means we don't really have to wheel the... whatever the card is that makes fences. Um, it, it lets you pay one wood for two fences, because I believe that doesn't even combo with Fencing Master. Um, there is a combo here in Beastmaster Gilder. Um, I'm surprised nobody went for that, because I think that combo is pretty strong. Beastmaster gives you a lot of food, Gelder will give you stone and bonus points, and then Beastmaster will give you mo more bonus points at the end of the game, because you probably can get, um, you probably can get to f four in a couple of the categories with how much you'd be taking animals, so I think somebody probably should have went for this combo, although if we're getting Fencing Master fourth, this pack must have been incredible, so maybe that was why nobody went for it. Um... Yeah, Dentist is fine. Martial Artist is an, and Village Head aren't super strong in a draft 10. Um, okay, maybe I'm going a little bit slow. I'll speed up. Well, we wield Cat Lover. Easy pick. We're in excellent, excellent, excellent shape right now. Um, Cat Lover makes the Benefactor slightly worse because we can already build multiple rooms and we have to return an animal, which makes Cat Lover a little bit worse, but they, there's just such synergy between the two and that they both want you to fence very early that I think Cat Lover's definitely the pick. Um, I, I'd even be looking to wheel, what's it called, Cattle Dealer now, and maybe do multiple fence actions to get uh, pairs of cows and then fence two more times for Benefactor, just because the cows could be great with Cat Lover. But easy Cat Lover pick. Um, obviously in Miners, we're going to be looking for ways to build... Er, Things that reward big houses, anything like wooden strong box or mansion would be great. Um, what else? Obviously things that help with animals, anything like lamp oil, anything like ram or dolly's mother. Um, what else? Something that would help plow, like the, um, the cattle plow or marsh or March, I believe it's called, that lets you return two animals for plows would be good with Head of the Revolution. Um, yeah. We could also use something like Backdoor, um, given that we'll probably be able to build a lot of rooms, but we'll be building a little bit late. One second, I'll be right back.
Um, yeah, so, like I said, uh, Fence Dealer does not combo with Fencing Master, I don't believe. Um, yeah, it, it does not work. Nursemaid is a little bit interesting in that it can give us animals, but like I said, I think Cattle Dealer's the pick here. I'll plan to fence 13 big, and then at some point later, go back and fence the other two, I think. Or we could just give up on Benefactor entirely, possibly. Um, yeah, Nursemaid is a little bit interesting in that it can give us cows, but I think Cattle Dealer is just a better version of that. Um, with Cattle Dealer, we could also open something like Milking Stool or Ox Team. It gives us a lot of options. Um, here are the pick. It's definitely not Mason's Apprentice, because Cat Lover only works with wood rooms. Acrobat is okay, but I think Gym Trainer's probably the pick. Um, we're, we're probably going to have a big family, so we, we might be able to make use of this. I think Agrarian is unplayable, and yeah, we, we just don't have an Acrobat game. Um, yeah, we're not going to be plowing early. We're not going to be taking traveling players a lot. We don't need Grain early, so Gym Trainer, I guess, is the most playable of these cards. Um, okay, this this pack is, there's a couple options, so Grain Elevator is just a good card, Clogs is just a good card, Ore Trap, Wheeling, Grain Elevator could be interesting, Lumberyard is interesting, um, I think Lumberyard's probably the pick. Abandoned Willow is also interesting in that it gives us a star player action early, uh, or a cactus farmer action early. We can plow, and then playing Abandoned Willow will allow us to um, build up some wood for our fencing. But yeah, I think the free point that Lumberyard gives is probably the best. Grain Elevator and Wheeling Boar Trap is interesting, but... I mean, we'd rather spend wood on rooms, I think. Spending four wood for this combo doesn't seem particularly strong, when we could probably just, like, take a breeding pair of boar. I'll just take Lumberyard. Um, yeah, Clogs is perfectly fine, but one wood for two points isn't much better than a free point, and we can get some daily burst synergy with Lumberyard, possibly J just having an outlet to give us some extra wood. Well, we did it. Mansion, here we come. Um, yep, we have a very clear plan. Build a huge house with Cat Lover. Um, Ox Goat is interesting, but we'll, we'll get a good number of cows from Cattle Dealer. Mold Boar Plow is interesting with Head of the Revolution, but yeah, e easy, easy mansion. I'd be fine wheeling probiotic food. Um... Probably will not be taking much clay, so flower pots isn't a very interesting wheel. Obviously, sofa is awful for us. Stone giant could be playable, but we need a lot of stone, so probably not. But yeah, we'll have to see. The ideal wheel, I think, is probiotic food or maybe mold boar plow. Um, I do like lasso a lot. Lasso can let us do some pretty interesting things. Um, but we want. I guess we don't really need a lot of reed with Cat Lover. We can build rooms just for three wood. Um, petting Zoo is very powerful. It's three points for two wood, especially when we know we're getting all the animals. Um, Lasso is interesting with Cactus Farmer, but we, we want to be spending our early reed on Cattle Dealer, I think. So um, it, it's going to be hard to get more than two reed. So I think Petting Zoo is the pick good number of points, um, yeah. If we wheel lasso, I'll take it, but, oh, Shepherd's Crook is also interesting, I think, um, maybe not, I don't think there's a good way, well, you, you can't do both Cattle Dealer and Shepherd's Crook well, um, you could do something where you, activate both Shepherd's Crook and Cattle Dealer by, like, fencing 12 big, fencing 4 spaces and 2 spaces, but I think that's worse than just fencing 13 and double Cattle Dealering. 
Um, so yeah, Petting Zoo is the pick here. Um, I mean, Chiefs Fondue could be good in terms of just giving us some extra food, but we're not going to bake. We would have, it, it would have been interesting if we took Grain Elevator, I think. Um, Backyard Well is interesting with Head of the Revolution. We can, like, play Head of the Revolution and then start player Backyard Well to cover the last spot, but we need a good amount of stone. Um, I also have to think about um, covering spaces or not, not covering spaces. I need, I need to think about cactus farmer actions. Um, so we can like cactus farmer lumberyard pretty easily and mansion a lot of the time gets played on reno major in the last round for, so we can use that for a stable, but petting zoo, we already want to play late game and I don't really have early start player actions or minor improvement actions that would work with cactus farmer, but none of these really solve that problem. Cheese fondue, if we get some clay, could just be a point. We don't need giant scarecrow. It's going to be hard for us to get three fields. Um, yeah. Rake is a definite no. I think the only options here are cheese fondue or backyard well. Backyard well is the better card, but cheese fondue is more guaranteed to be played just to clay for one point. Um, yeah, this is tough. I think I'm gonna go for the backyard well. Um, it's only two stone, so like we'll, we have a lot of stone costs, but we're fine taking read stone food a couple times this game. Like we can read stone food twice for our, our cattle dealer read possibly instead of taking two read um, if we get the opportunity. And yeah, this card's just so much better than cheese fondue that I think it's worth it. Um, Kudzu becomes a lot more interesting with um, well, with Mansion and with Head of the Revolution. It's a way to cover up spaces. Um, we can also tactically block our cat Kudzu with Cactus Farmer. Um, we can just place a stable. Uh, and like, so we're fencing pretty early. So we if we fence like these six spaces here and cattle deal, um, we can kudzu here, let it extend here, and then we can, like, cattle, or what's it called? Um, cactus farmer, a stable here, so the kudzu stops spreading. We can also, like, build two rooms here if we want to stop the kudzu from spreading. Um, we really don't have any plow help this game, so I'm pretty interested in kudzu. But banded willow is interesting in that it gives us a way to get wood early if we get blocked on occupations for fencing master um like in round one if we don't get the chance to go to play an awk or whatever we can second action plow field and then in round two we can cactus farmer or sometime after we play fencing master we can cactus farmer a banded willow um hmm <laughs> Right now we're definitely cactus farmering lumberyard, um, but cactus farmer is going to be interesting this game because I'm doing a big house. I'm going to want to play lots of miners on family grow. So if we cactus farmer a lot, we're going to run out of miners. Hopefully we get past miners, which which makes abandoned willow a little bit less interesting because we'd rather just somebody pass it to us. Um, This is hard. So we, we want to build at least six rooms for sure with Mansion, maybe even more considering they're only three wood and, well, they're three wood, a clay, and a stone. Um, so three wood, a clay, and a stone is going to be five points, which is generally a good exchange rate if we can get all the resources. I guess we have pretty high wood costs. Maybe Abandoned Willow's the pick. But I do like Kudzu because... With no plow help, we probably won't have a lot of time to plow. Yeah, I, I think I convinced myself I'm going to take the kudzu. Um, so we fenced 13, maybe even 15. We build six rooms at least, and then we like kudzu two spaces instead of plowing them. How much wood do we need? We're playing Fencing Master, we're playing Cactus Farmer. 
we're playing cattle dealer. That's six wood. No, we, we need a lot of wood to do a big fence action early. Um, well, stone giant's interesting. Stone house extension is interesting, but I don't think we can afford the stone. We don't really have a mechanism to get extra stone this game. Um, gym trainer can be useful for taking like two stone actions and then getting wood food, but I think ox goat is just the pick here, um, especially now that we didn't take kudzu, having a way to get extra, uh, having another mechanism for plowing is pretty interesting. Threshing board is awful, sofa is obviously awful, stone house extension, like I said, it's just too many, too many resources. I, I don't think we can afford that stone with both mansion and backyard well. The same goes for stone giant. Stone giant is just too much stone. Also, we're going to be cutting stone pretty heavily. Uh, and for stone giant to be great, you want big piles of stone accumulating. Yeah, ox goat's the pick. And then last pick, lasso for sure. Um, Shepherd's crook and brazier are both okay. We'll have cattle early, so Brazier could be useful. And I mentioned earlier that cattle, excuse me, the cattle dealer does work. Or that Shepherd's, Shepherd's Crook, excuse me, could work with cattle dealer if you fence four spaces instead of three, but I think we just want to double cattle dealer for four cows. Um, are we building a cooking hearth this game? I mean, probably. It's probably our best way to feed with cattle dealer. Yeah, I mean, Brazier is nice. Brazier could let us not build a cooking hearth and just eat cows with Brazier. But Lasso, I think, has a lot of utility. Lasso, especially, it's very good with Ox Goad. Ox Goad, we can lasso one cow repeatedly to plow. We're going first, which is awesome. Um, I think I just get Fencing Master out. I want to fence as soon as possible. Redstone food is good for us, but sheep flipped, so. Being able to play Cactus Farmer and put a stable out is also great. Yeah, um, there's a good chance we'll get a lot of stables very early. I'm going to strike an action plow, I think. Um, taking two clay is interesting because I could fireplace. Oh, wow, Benson has Field Watchman. Benson's going to have a very good game between Grain Elevator, Boar Trap, Field Watchman. Um... But, yeah, that that could make Head of the Revolution complicated, but we can probably make it work. Lasso ox goad actually means we can play Head of the Revolution and then immediately lasso a cow and plow. Um, let me move. Yeah, so I could take two clay, and then I could just even Cactus Farmer the... Um, fireplace to guarantee I get the sheep, but I want to be holding the sheep anyways, not, um, what's it called? Uh, not eating them if possible. Um, I'd like to read next round. I would like, um, yeah, I'd like to read for Cattle Dealer. Readstone Food is also fine, given that we want stone for Backyard Well. Um, and then I'd like to Cactus Farmer. Um, if Fireplace flips, I think a Cactus Farmer, so I can take two sheep. Benson... Oh, of course, takes a grain with Field Watchman. JP takes... All these farms are backward. So we might go first next round, which would be incredible. Even second could be okay, but obviously first is better. Oh, uh, V has probiotic food. Very nice for them. But that does put some strain on food this game. Um, okay, great. Uh, fireplace didn't flip. Reedstone food gets taken. We'll take two reeds so, to set up for our cattle dealer. Oh wow, four wood is there. How much wood do we need? We need 13 wood. Yeah. 
Um, well, there's a chance we wheel a good action, no matter what. So there's Ock, Ock, 4 wood, 3 wood. So we're probably wailing 3 wood. Or we can also start player Abandoned Willow. No, I want a Cactus Farmer Abandoned Willow. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, I think I'll just take the 2 read. I do need a good amount of food. I, I need like a 3 or 4 food. Yeah, obviously Benson takes 4 wood because that's crazy. It's possible I shouldn't have passed forward. Um, we'll have to see. So we're wheeling an awk, which is excellent for us. I'll probably play Lumberyard so I can day labor two wood since I need a good amount of food and getting extra wood with it is nice. Um, Merchant Plowman comes out, interesting. This doesn't make it cheaper, right? No, so yeah. V needs another Reedstone food. We definitely play Cactus Farmer, Lumberyard. There is a good amount of pressure on food this game. Ideally, I'll be able to take a three food, but there's no guarantee of that. Um, JP might start player here. Yeah, there's a lot of food needs. Oh, we can use probiotic food for joinery, actually, now that I think of it. Yeah, JP star players, so four clay is available. Major Minded didn't flip, which is amazing for us. Um, this should have four wood. Um, yeah, so one of my actions will be LV taking star player for joinery. Awesome for us. We should be able to get a three food next round, or a four food. If not, we can just day labor twice. I'll play a knock here. Um, I think I'll play cattle dealer. Um, I'll take three food if it comes back. If not, I'll day labor. Actually, I might day labor over three food. I need a good amount of wood. I need to get to 13 wood. Um, so playing one more Auk. Well, playing Head of the Revolution would actually get me to 13 wood with a day labor. So that's tempting. Um, next round, I'll definitely... If V doesn't fireplace, I'll definitely first action... Um, Okay, V takes the clay, so V might first action fireplace. I'll definitely be willing to take the, what's it called? The sheep. Um, yeah, I'll day labor. I think I want food. I'm definitely gonna cut the sheep. Benson will take three food here, I think. But actually, he might field watchman again, so he can sow next round. I'm absolutely cutting these sheep. Making V's life hard is great. Um, food will be sketchy, but day laboring again isn't the end of the world. Oh wow, Benson's sewing right now. I wonder what he has. Okay, sure. V takes the fireplace. I'm, I'm still cutting the sheep. Second action, I'll either take four food or day labor. Preferably four food, but it's not the end of the world.
Benson takes Reed. JP Blades resource dealer, sure. Oh, hi. Oh, widen the farm windows, sure. One second. Um, so we're definitely getting a four food, which is great. It's possible there's going to be, uh, like five wood for us next round. We're not taking start player, so we can't get six wood unless two six woods float, but I definitely think it's possible that we'll get a five wood from this space. Because Benson will take wood, and then JP might build. What did Benson do? Yeah, Benson took wood. I'm gonna eat two grain. How did V feed? Reed stone food? Uh, oh, um, I forgot he could eat a wood with joinery, obviously. Um, so JP might build here. Might start player. Even if JP start players, if room building, or if family girl flips, then JP will not take wood. JP will build a room. Okay, cool. So we're getting five wood here, which is excellent. We can fence next action. If we want to. We might not want to. Um, yeah, we definitely take five wood. I might even take five food if it comes back. Four clay is possible, because a cooking hearth is definitely something we want. Um, Benson builds, sure. Yeah, so five food is fine, four clay is fine. Um, Okay, five food goes, so we'll definitely take four clay if it comes. If not, we might just fence right now. No. Um, okay. Well, if we play an auk here, we can set up for a bigger... So we, we can get one wood for when we build. Um, well, not getting either food action is pretty lame. I can also major minor abandon willow, build another stable. I can day labor, take more food. Um, so we cat lover, we spend six wood. So even with cat lover, I'm still not going to be threatening building a room after I fence. But it's probably worth getting out no matter what. in taking two sheep next round, so there's not a whole lot of point in fencing. Benson plays fat flower pots. JP let Benson jump him, which is interesting. Man, not getting that four clay was pretty lame. I guess he didn't have a lot better to do, but we could have taken Raystone food. Set up to build the well. Man, right now we need a good amount of food. Uh, I might have to day labor twice, actually. That'll get me close to building a room.
Family Grove flipped, which is fine for us. Um, yeah, I think we just fence here and then take Day Labor. Yeah, Day Laboring twice is better than like four wood, three food fishing, so there's not a whole lot of point in, uh, what's it called? There's not a whole lot of point in taking four wood here. Um, we'll be close to building two rooms actually once we day labor twice. We'll have five wood, so we'll be one resource short of building two rooms. JP is set up to build the well. He does want to get this clay off of this somehow, and I don't know exactly how he's going to do it. Um, we're definitely taking four clay with one action next round to try to get um, Cooking Hearth, because that's our long-term feeding plan. Even though it's going to be awkward to try to feed while also doing cow lover things. Um, yeah, I could just fence again, but, uh, I mean, getting the benefactor out isn't super important. I, I mean, it's not a rush, because the fence action isn't particularly free. I, it's an action to play the benefactor, and then an action to fence, and then I have to return an animal, which isn't great with Cat Lover, especially if I'm going to be eating. Um, JP plays Business Tutor. Okay. Looks like a big renovate's coming. <clears throat> excuse me, with the well and some other improvement, I imagine. I didn't really see a lot of stone cards. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to see. I'm a bit short on food is the problem. Um, I definitely day labor here, but yeah, not getting the five food was a little bit awkward. Uh, we also give V a six wood here if they choose to take it. Um, yeah, I mean, playing the benefactor is not a rush. We're not growing until round nine, no matter what. We do want a fence soon-ish to be able to take a breeding pair of boar. Wow, V first action's the cooking hearth. Why? That doesn't make any sense to me. Is is this a minor cooking hearth? No. Are they just trying to make my life hard? I mean, first action renovate. That's so weird. I mean, I'll take six wood. Six wood is two rooms. That's crazy. I mean, I'm also going to be set up to build like a million rooms next turn. Well, he has to feed, but he, he has the fireplace. Like, the, I don't get the renovate here when he could have built a room. Now I get to grow in front of him, unless he has farm steward or treehouse. But, yeah, I mean, this is so weird. Yeah, I mean, getting the Benefactor out quickly is not a problem for me. I, I had seen no reason to get Benefactor out early. The only upside of fencing is it allows me to hold a breeding pair of four. Um, I mean, Lighthouse maybe, but then he should have taken three stone. Yeah, I mean, I guess officer, but I, I didn't see any stone cards. Um, and JP played business tutor, so JP likely has stone cards. Um, I, I really don't get this. I'll be set up to build three rooms next round. 
Um, land agent for V. Okay, I, I still don't understand. Well, yeah, sure. He, he renoed probably because both JP and Benson can reno. Um, well, JP can't reno. Or, oh, yeah, he can with um, Resource Dealer, but I, I just don't get why he wanted to reno when he can build a room. Like, he's setting himself back in Family Grow unless he has um, Treehouse. Um, if I take Reedstone food here, I can lasso next round off Family Grow. Do I want to lasso two sheep? Not particularly. But Reedstone food might be more worthwhile than, um, than Day Labor 2 Wood. Um, Day Labor 2 Wood doesn't put me at a new breakpoint for building rooms. Yeah, I think I want Reedstone food. It also sets other people back in the building queue. Um, this has to be like Treehouse. Well, no, Treehouse has a three occupation cost, right? So it can't be Treehouse. Maybe Farm Steward. Farm Steward would make sense. Um... I might take six clay over building rooms first action next round. Just because of how important it is for the cooking hearth. Um, I really need the other cooking hearth this game. Especially if V plays farm steward, um, which it seems relatively likely that they will now. Um, Taking clay first action it seems very good to me. Yeah, I mean, the other thing is V has joinery plane and they passed on six wood on top of building a room in order to renovate here. Um, yeah, I think this has to be farm steward. That's the only thing that really makes sense here. I fully expect to see Farm Steward come out. Yeah, if it doesn't come out, I'll be severely confused here. Excuse me? Is V just trying to starve me? What is going on? What could this be? Oh, Stonehouse Builder? There was a Stonehouse Builder in the game. This is such a weird Stonehouse Builder game, though. Um, this does not make any sense. Um, I think I want to take the six clay over building here. I really need a feed. Maybe it's an officer. Um, I guess there's fishing and traveling players, yeah. I'll build three rooms as much as I hate to do it. I want to grow, but I... I this cooking hearth is so important for long-term feeding. Um, yeah, I mean, feeding is really sketchy. I guess V will take animals to feed, but, and JP is fed. What happened to Benson's food? I, oh, they, they just ran out. Maybe they'll bake. I don't know. It, my feeding's just really sketchy here. Um, I think it's unlikely that I starve, but... It, it is not pretty. 
Um, there's a chance I just get six clay next round. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's huge piles of reed. Um, I think JP will probably take reed and maybe the other clay this round. Just because these are crazy piles. Benson also might take clay. I don't like this. Yeah, Benson will so... But... Benson can... Oh, heretic, sure. Now it all makes sense. I, I f completely forgot about heretic. But, um... Sure. Uh, here we'll play lasso, I think. I guess that's the only thing we can play, other than abandoned willow. But, lasso allows me to threaten animals very heavily. This six clay, I really, really want to float. Well, major minor could also get blocked, so yeah, feeding is really sketchy. Benson, so bakes, sure, because V can so next turn. Um, well, V will first action family grow, which is good. There's also gonna be huge wood piles, which will probably go over the clay. I'm afraid that JP will buy my cooking hearth, but they'll probably buy pottery instead. Organized handyman, sure. Interesting with village head. They don't, those don't seem to particularly go together. Heretic makes a lot of sense. I'm very glad that I, I family growed. I, I, I just completely forgot it was a card. This fireplace is still pretty weird, but whatever. I mean, I guess it's a point if you have literally nothing else to do with the clay, but V will want to reno back to clay at some point, so... Benson discarding patron, very funny. Discarding for a stone, sure. Um, oops. Yeah, I mean, in order to guarantee a family grow next round, I have to start player, but I might just not fight for it. I'm definitely going to focus on feeding more. I'll first action six clay. I should wheel major minor after six clay. Um... Okay, JP plays custom improvements, sure. Oh, on start player. Why? Oh, for six wood, sure. V will family grow. I'll take six clay. Silo girl was in the game, actually. I completely forgot about that. Um, I'm surprised V didn't go for silo girl with heretic, because that's a very strong combo normally. Maybe, maybe, oh, uh, JP probably has the silo girl with business tutor, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to go for the cooking hearth, but you're, you're right, Maruska. Taking fishing or traveling players in day labor is not the end of the world. Um, nobody else can hold the animals, so uh, I'll have the option to lasso, like, three sheep if I get cooking hearth. There's a chance we'll just get like three boar next round as well, so not super in a hurry. Benson has no reason to major minor here. Um, JP will renovate, not major minor. Um. Benson takes Reed, of course, going for the BMW. I will snap Major Minor, though. Oh, JP played the Loom. I thought JP played the Beehive. Very interesting. 
Yeah, JP is going to renovate to Silo Girl uh, next round. And he'll renovate to Well and probably two Miners with custom improvements. Yep, there goes the well. Interested to see what miners come out. Um, I think I might go for like a million rooms this game. The main concern is going to be clay and stone. Like, I'll take three stone next action for sure. Um, but like, I have so much wood that building rooms will not be a problem. Flagon coming out, that's great for me. Um, so I need three clay for the mansion. Right now I need five wood, um, maybe six, seven wood. Taking cactus farmer to grow is not particularly tempting when I have, um, cactus farmer. I'd much rather spend my miners on stables, um... If you place cheese fondue, sure. Plow coming out for our JP, sure. Um, we definitely cooking hearth here. Oh wow, these start playing for family girl. That's fine by me. Um, we will definitely cooking hearth here. So V has to first action family grow, which means we could take two more. We could take four sheep and two boar next round. Um, or just one, one of the two. Um, I'll probably actually take four wood or day labor last action so I can fence into taking four. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to push for family grow. Well, V taking start player is great for me. It means they're not competing for family grow. Benson might take four wood here to try to build another room, but... Um, that's not great for them, because then they'd have to take start player, um, yeah, I mean, I'll definitely play Benefactor at some point, but we'll, we'll have to see what else I do. Um, yeah, I'm gonna day labor and take two wood here so I can fence, take boar. Um, we eat a cow and breed it back. Breed a sheep. Yeah, first action I'm gonna fence and take boar. Um, yeah, I probably won't push over six rooms, um, but we'll have to see. If I get big piles of clay, um, I mean, I definitely will. It's, it's point efficient to do so, if I can. I mean, fields are not as fields aren't as point efficient as um, what's it called as rooms. Fields are easier to get because with lasso ox goad, um, I definitely can build a lot of rooms, but or I, I can plow a good amount of fields for pretty free. But um, rooms have a higher point ceiling and uh, are pretty point efficient if I can get enough clay and stone. Um, I should be able to wheel three stone here. So, I, I think, yeah, I just fence here and take three boar. Um, yeah, so to renovate six rooms and three for mansion that, yeah, you're right. I need eight clay. So I, I think eight clay is going to be the max. I, I think you're right. I shouldn't build more rooms. Um, also with head of the revolution, being able to ox good plows is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I, I probably won't take more. Wow. Benson taking stone. Looks like Benson might have stone house builder. This is a weird stone house builder game.
Benson's also not close to renovating to stone. I mean, I definitely take four clay if it comes back now. Three sheep is in, four sheep is interesting, but V will take it. Yeah, V, v just kills the sheep, sure. Um, I can't imagine Benson builds another wood room. Then it, I, they have bamboo, so like they could fence a little bit easier, but it's not like comically easy. Uh, yeah, we, we definitely take the clay. Um, I need to t start taking reed stone food. I need two reed stone food actions for mansion, and that's three stone. Then I need six stone. So I need two three stones for mansion at least. Yeah, maybe I can just take more reed stone. Oh, I need reed stone food for Renos. Uh, so I need four, four reed stone food actions. Yeah. I'll, I'll just spam reed stone food, then probably take two stone. I think backyard well is probably not happening. Um, we need four wood right now. Um, I'll probably just play Abandoned Willow for wood since I can get plows pretty easily with ox code. Um, yeah, I think I'll start first actioning Reedstone food. Yeah, I took the flagon food. Um, okay, BMW coming out for Benson, which makes it less likely that they'll build a wood room. They'll probably just fence 15 soon. Very strange plows from B. I wonder what this is. Um, maybe it's Front Yard Garden, but no, we're not, not playing with NL deck. Yeah, I don't know what these plows could be. Who knows? Um, yeah, so Reedstone food is a priority. I need a family row. Um, yeah, I imagine JP will renovate with pottery, especially with glass blowers shop in the game, but still needs a reed. Andy needs one more stone for that after Reedstone food. Um, still don't know what Benson's doing. Oh, wow, Silo Girl and Noble. Where's the reed coming from? Oh, resource dealer, of course. Wow, that's a late animal pen, but still good. Noble, very strong for JP. Yeah, JP's setup looks pretty good, but um, is he begging? Um, oh yeah, he is. No, it's it's not the harvest. Yeah, so JP's game looks very good. Um, our mansion is just going to put our game so over the top that we should be fine. We just really need to get the four clay next round. Uh, or this four clay in round 13. But there's a big demand for clay. Benson, or V first action, so bakes, sure. Well, first action, reedstone food. I don't really care about six food. Oh, Benton plays Stone Giant, sure. Um, stone is next to round 12, which is good for Stone Giant. Um, but we're, we're definitely taking three stone next round, so the Stone Giant isn't going to be great. Unless Benson takes two stone in order to set it up. But even then, Benson has to first action. Uh, first action, use the round 12 action space, so it's not incredible. Yeah, custom improvements is great with Cactus Farmer. Um, sad that we didn't get it. JP must have taken it pretty highly. But, I mean, it's very good with Business Tutor. Sure, Benson Fences. Um, 
We ha want a family girl with one of our actions. What's the other action? The other action doesn't really matter. Do we need six food this game? Probably not. Um, we could major minor for a stable. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to major minor out Abandon Willow for a stable, and then we can family grow with Ox Goad to be set up to lasso cows next round if they come. I care more about the stable than, plows, uh, than start player. Yeah, I, I really don't care about six food. Oxcode should give me a good amount of food with Lasso. I, I can basically always get two food in a plow, second action effectively. Um, yeah, so my actions next round will be first action four clay and then take two cow if they're there. Um, if not, yeah, I think four clay is more important than even three stone. Also, three stone doesn't seem particularly contested. Um, all the good majors are gone. Nobody really needs stone oven. I can consider playing gym trainer this game, but I don't really have it. Oh, I, I need more wood for petting zoo, but that's fine. Um, if we can get enough stone for backyard well, then a three wood will cover petting zoo backyard well. I can still play gym trainer. Um, I, I have a lot of options. Benson taking one cow. That's very odd to me. That's good for me, though. Um, two cow probably don't come to me that late. Um, v plays fence overseer. Very strange. Very, very strange. I wonder if they have some sort of combo. I'm sad we didn't get this. That This is great with Cactus Farmer, although um, Cattle Dealer ended up being great for us anyways. Uh, here we family grow ox goad for sure. Um, so we'll eat a cow and a boar, I think. We have the perfect amount of boar for three points in boar if we save this number of boar. Um, yeah, I think I want to keep jamming reed stone food rather than like take three reed just because my stone needs are pretty high. So four clay, cow, three stone, family grow next round. Um, Actually, at that rate, we'll need to take three read. Maybe we don't take a cow next round, but no, we definitely want to be plowing. Um, we need three plows. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lots of stuff. We also need to play Benefactor before renovating. Um. Oh, yeah. Benson takes two stone to protect the reno, sure. That's not the end of the world for us. We taking this three stone was going to be hard anyways. Um, now we can take reed stone food instead of three stone. That three stone being gone means we definitely want to take reed stone food over three reed because we need a lot of stone. Um, we Again, we need nine stone. We have two right now. So two, three more reed stone foods brings us to five and then we can take two two stones or like a three stone and another reed stone food. We definitely take four clay and ox goat here. Oh, wrong button. Reedstone food next, and then family grow. 
Um, we need to get Benefactor out and Reno. We need a lot of stone. This is going to be tight, getting this mansion out. Um, yeah, I mean, if we get the mansion out, we definitely win. Um, we have animal points. We'll have plow points. Uh, we have two points for three points for improvements right now, so we're behind like JP. JP is looking pretty strong. JP can double family grow or single family grow here. Um, Silo girl is great for JP. J JP's game is looking strong, but us cu cutting the cows is going to be good. It's going to make them getting animals difficult. Where did this boar come from? Did JP take one boar last round? Benson discarding for clay is interesting. JP will build pottery at some point, which we don't really care about. Um, we take reedstone food here. I think it's better than three reed. Um, yeah, if we took three reed, three stone, two stone puts us two stones short, so we would still need another two stone, which just isn't happening. So yeah, we, we want reedstone food. Reedstone food. Wow, we need three reedstone foods. Yeah, this was going to be super tight. Um, yeah, I'll first action three stone next round, I think. Um, there's also a good amount of renovations needed left although V um, V is not going to be able to renovate uh, V needs a reed grab and four clay grab so it's just not efficient for them to renovate JP buys pottery if, and then takes traveling players sure we last action family grow with petting zoo um yeah well, petting zoo means we need another wood action for mansion. So what are my actions next round? One is renovation. One is reed stone food. One is three stone for sure. I guess one option would be taking reed three stone and then hoping to get another three stone. But that is risky. Um, petting zoo is definitely worth it, I think. I don't see how it wouldn't be. But we will need a two wood action at some point. On the bright side, my feeding is like beyond set. Um, Benson plays stone oven, so Benson might be able to go to stone, might not. Regardless, our renos should be fine. Well, we need two renos, so um, we need either JP or Benson to not reno again. Benson can renovate pretty easily, especially with Village Head. How many cards has he discarded? One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he's played one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So he should have no cards left in hand except Abandoned Willow. He has one card left in hand. That's fine. Um, we first action three stone here. We can take the cow, but I don't know if we want to. So three stone takes us to six. Reed stone food takes us to seven. Hmm, this is tough. We also need a wood action. We need a renovation. We definitely three stone. Um, do I cattle deal? So reed stone food is an action. One, two, three. Benefactor is four, five. Um, we also want wood.
Sorry, you might have heard that. I think I messed up my mute button. Whatever. Um, so I need a wood action. I need another redstone food. So one, two, three, four, five, and benefactor. That's too many actions. Yeah, I don't think I... Well, I definitely want to take the cow at some point this game. So I might as well do it now. No, that's not true. I just wanna make sure I get mansion. Mansion's by far the most important thing in this game. If I miss a plow, I miss a plow. It's not the end of the world. Um, I'll probably take two stone here. Well, I'll, I'll take read stone food first and then two stone. No, I should take two stone to screw up Benson's family grow, actually. It also messes up his renovation. He can take read stone food to renovate, but, um, then I can take four read. Yeah, I'll, I'll take two stone here. Yeah, if he takes redstone food, I can take four reed, which is awful for him. So I should just be protecting my reno here. He takes one cow, sure, whatever. JP taking redstone food. That's a mystery to me. Is he just trying to block me? I don't, I don't get that. Um, I mean, I guess now I take mansion, or t take four read to guarantee my mansion. Um, so my last actions here are Benefactor, Renovate. So I should be able to cattle go, go next round. Um, I definitely renovate here. Renovating here makes my renovation super protected. Um, yeah, I can't play back here at well. I need the stone. Playing the backyard well would be, um, yeah, well, yeah, I, I know I can do Head of the Revolution in Cal Marushka, but, uh, I, I don't think I'll be able to afford it. I need a wood action and a renovation action and a stone action. That's three actions. So I take Cal with one action, but then I'll be one space short. Um, yeah, if I could have done backyard well, I could have done it. Oh, I can't stable outside of pasture. You are correct. Um... JP will plow though. JP will plow so at some point. Like with, so I have to time it perfectly. There, there's no way to time it right. I guess 
JP maybe won't be able to. V plays ladder on star player. V might be taking four clay first action, which would be bad for me. But they'll probably reno fence. What do you mean plus food room? Uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Oh, um, depending on how JP's actions line up, although now that V's star player, I don't think it will line up. I was thinking I could, so I'm playing Mansion on Rhino Major, which means it will give me a stable. So if I time the Head of the Revolution right, I could play Head of the Revolution and then Mansion. Um, I definitely won't be able to ox code though. Cow is way too contested. JP needs a cow. Um, here we renovate, not a... We lose a sheep, we eat two cows, and probably another sheep, and then breed sheep, cow, back, and boar. So we first action, yeah, I can't play Mansion here, Mariska, I, I needed wood. If V didn't play this ladder, I could have, I could have day labored here, um, and then I could go Reno Mansion, okay, V first action start players, um, So we're definitely taking this cow, because JP doesn't have a cow, and it's a million points for me, I'll eat it. And then my next action is gonna be five wood, I guess. Um, I don't need plow, so. I need a stone action, but that's not a problem. Day labor is better than five wood for me because I don't need to build more stables. Um, I guess I don't want JP to be able to block Reno Major Minor. So I think hilariously I'm just getting day labor here. Oh, I need a stone anyways. So yeah, I, I should just Reno Major or take, uh, I should take Reedstone food to make it work harder for Benson to renovate, Benson would have to take one stone and then renovate, whereas Reedstone food gives him some extra food. If JP, like, Plowsow's first action, which might happen because Benson doesn't need Plowsow, um, then I can't make Head of the Revolution work. No, nobody else can take it from me. Um, Benson takes wood for stables, sure. Next action, I day labor, and then, yeah, if, um, I mean, Head of the Revolution's probably only one extra point compared to anything else, so it's not that incredible, but, I mean, I, I still want to do it if possible. Yeah, so we don't have crops, which is a bummer, but a 12-point mansion has to has to take it. We have animals, we have fenced stables. Um, wow, well, if JP takes four clay here, there's a chance I get locked out of renovation. No, or V, V does not, okay, cool. Yeah, JP is trying to block my mansion, but it is not going to work, because V did not take the four clay. Um, 
Bia will set up for a run offense, I think. I think that's better than building a stable and fencing it. Oh, no. V can merchant plow in a field, actually. But because plow won't be taken, my head of the revolution isn't going to work. So I should just take a crop. Yeah, no, V is definitely going to want to run offense. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll run a mansion and then play a crop. Definitely run a mansion here. And then my last action, I take a crop. How do I feed? Um, what is this food from? Day labor and then what? Did I add this on accident? Um, let me see. I play. Oh, not score. Oh, I forgot about scrounger. Whatever. There is no way for me to get scrounger points. It does make the mansion a good bit worse, but that's fine. Yeah, there, there was literally no way for me to get scrounger. Um, Yeah, I don't know where this food came from. I don't see myself adding it, so maybe I had three food after the last harvest. Um, I can eat. Oh, I, I got two from taking the cow. I got one from restone food. I got one from day labor. Okay. It all makes sense. Um, we are one food short. Er, yeah, no, we're, we're a little bit short. Um, I should not have eaten a sheep last round to cost myself a point. Whatever. Take a vegetable. Um, we'll just eat two cows. But yeah, I, I definitely should not have eaten a cow last round. Yeah, no matter what, I'm eating a point. Um, that's unfortunate. Um, no, restone food, cattle, day labor is six, is, um, not, not six food, it's five food. It's seven food total, and I pay two food for cattle goad, so it's five food. Yeah, so I cost myself a point. In feeding last round, I should have one more sheep, but whatever. It's not going to be close. Petting zoo is three points, so we're our score plus um, 17. No other points on the board, right? Other than scrounger. Yeah, our, our score plus 17, which should easily be enough. Forty three plus seventeen, yeah, sixty. Mm. JP is actually relatively close. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. JP is only three points off. Benson is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, Benson's one point off. Way, way closer than I thought.
that scrounger really pulled through for JP and Benson. Um, the 44 plus 3 it looks like, so only 47 for V. They, did they say that already? Yeah. Alright. Um, 57, 43, 47, sorry. 47, 60, 59. Um, 57, 47. 60, 59. All right, um, interesting game. Obviously, we, we did very well. We Like, our setup was great. Wheeling, Cat Lover. The Benefactor wasn't incredible. Um, I mean, it, it was like a room in three wood, which is okay, but we had to return an animal for it, and... Um, yeah, I mean, building one more room wasn't going to be the end of the world with, like, just taking wood. Um, also, if we just didn't build that room and had the one leftover clay, um, one leftover clay and stone for Scrounger, that would have been a couple extra points. So Benefactor didn't end up being incredible. Cat Lover really did the heavy lifting. Cat Lover, Cattle Dealer is excellent, but... Yeah, I mean, our setup of Fencing Master, Cattle Dealer, Cat Lover is just so strong that um, that we, we ended up getting there, even though it was a very close one. But both JP and Benson had great farms, played very well. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.